Let's take a look at Kramer's rule on a T89 calculator. And um, I'm going to show my website first. This is www.mathheels.com. And if you want to see other graphing calculator videos, um, here's a link. I'll eventually rename that to graphing calculator slash technology. Then you go into college algebra and you see all the different topics that I have videos for. And I'm going through and creating, creating these for every model that you see out here. So, so slowly uh, creating them. Um, here's math class information. I'll eventually rename that to math lectures. This is where you can go get extra help in whatever subject. So if I go into college algebra, there's YouTube videos out here for all the different uh, lessons. And these are the same lectures, examples, uh, explanation that I give in the classroom. Uh, make sure you go into YouTube video, not WebEx. I need to remove those WebEx. That was before I knew how to do YouTube. Okay, Kramer's rule. We got um, I get my pen to work. There we go. Three x plus y equals six. And seven x minus two y is equal to one. Now our first determinant, we take the numbers off of our variables, uh, so we drop the x's and y's and keep the numbers in our signs. So we got 3, 1, 7, negative 2. So again, just took the numbers off the um, variable terms over here. Now d sub x, I'm going to go to the this uh, determinant in d, and I'm going to replace the x column with the numbers on the right side. So I'll put uh, 6 and 1 here. And then this uh, column remains as is, 1 and negative 2. Now my d sub y. I'm going to go through and replace my y column in d with the numbers on the right side. So I do 6 and 1 here. And then this first column remains as is. This is 3, 7. Now our answers are going to be x is equal to d sub x over d. And y is equal to d sub y over d. Now, I can't really name these easily in this manner. I guess I could, but I'm going to put this in a, a matrix called A. I'll put this in a matrix called B, and I'll put this one in one called C. So really, when I say the determinant of, or the D sub X, which is the determinant of this, that's the determinant of B. Over D, which would be the determinant of A. D sub Y. Determinant of C over D, which is determinant of A. Now those are not absolute value bars, those are determinants. So let's go to our calculator. Okay. Now I want to enter these in, so um, I'm going to do my apps. Go into the data matrix editor, 6. And I want to choose uh, 3 for new. And you see it says uh, data, so I'm going to right arrow and uh, then choose 2 for matrix. And I'll down arrow to the folder and down arrow to the variable. I might already have A in here, so it might give us an error. We'll see. Um, I never can tell. My eyes aren't good enough to see if the alpha locks on here. But let me just go ahead and press uh, the equals to see if A appears. And it does. So I'll down arrow, row dimension. That, well, A is 2 by 2. Two rows by columns, so two, and that looked like it put R, didn't it? Okay, I'll shut alpha lock off, put two, and down arrow, and this will be a two. And, um, okay, that's saved. Now I'll do an enter to save that, and I guess I didn't have A. So then I'll type my numbers, so I do three, enter, one, enter, seven, enter, negative 2 enter. So I got 3, 1, 7, negative 2. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna exit out. Um, so you can quit. You can do second escape to quit out or whatever. Now I go back into my apps. I want to choose the data matrix editor again. So do 6. And I want to choose 3 for new. And type. I don't want data. I write arrow over and then I want to choose 2 for matrix. Down arrow, down arrow, and uh, this time I'll put B in, and uh, I can't tell if my alpha, alpha lock's on. Okay, there it is. That's on. 
So now I'm going to put uh, B, which was, um, let's see, where is it at? I guess above the beginning parentheses. Then a down arrow, and rows, two rows, and then, ah, still got alpha lock on. So shut alpha lock off, and put two in, down arrow, I'll put two here, and I'll down arrow to save that, and then I'll press enter. Okay. Then this will be uh, six, enter, one, enter, one, enter, negative two, enter, six, one, one, negative two. I'm going to quit. I'm going to exit out. So do second escape. Um, and now we need to put C in. So I'll go back into my apps. Choose six for data matrix editor. Choose three for new. And I'll right arrow uh, and then choose D two for matrix. Down arrow to folder. Down arrow to variable. And alpha lock. There's alpha lock. Okay, and then I'll put C in. So close parentheses, then down arrow. And I can't tell if alpha lock's on, but let me just do two. Yeah, that's a, okay. And then I did two again. Press enter and enter again. Okay, so then we're gonna put C in. So I got three and six. So three enter, six enter, seven enter, and one enter. And after I get those in, I want to exit out, so do second escape. Okay, so now we have our matrices entered. And if I did um, alpha and choose uh, A and press enter, you see you can actually see the, the matrices. Now, um, we want to do this. So, um, hmm. there it is. There's the math menu. I'll do, um, actually, I'll clear to clear that. And then I'll do um, second and five to access the math menu. I want to choose matrix, so I'll do four. And I want to choose determinant, so I'll do two. And uh, I want to determine a B, so um, and B's uh, members you have to do alpha and then so alpha and then the beginning parentheses and you see B there. Closing parentheses divided by. Then I'll go in my math again, so I'll do second. 5, choose 4 for matrix, I'm just choosing the number that's in front of it, and choose 2 for determinant. And then determinant of A, so I'm going to do alpha equals to get A, and then closing parentheses, enter. And you see that we get uh, 1. Well, let's uh, find the other one. Find Y. I'm going to uh, press clear to clear that out, even though I could edit it and save myself a little bit of work. Okay, so I'm going to get determinant. So I'll do second, five, choose four for matrix, choose two for determinant. And we want determinant of C, so I do alpha and then my close parentheses. And then a close parentheses divided by. And then I'll do second, five to go to the math menu, four for matrix. 2 for determinant, and we want determinant of A, so I do alpha equals to get A, and then close parentheses, and then press enter. And you see we get 3. So our answer will be 1, 3. And that's uh, using the TI 89 uh, calculator to help us uh, do uh, Kramer's rule. Again, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense with the 2 by 2, but Again, when it gets to 3x3, 4x4, then it does make sense to use a calculator to help you do, do parts of that.